Hello everyone, welcome to another video, another celestial tour. Now pretty much everybody knows that the universe begun with the Big Bang explosion, from the tiny pinpoint called Singularity, that approximately happened 13.8 billion years ago as we know it. The universe seems like it will last forever, but just like how everything inside the universe ends, the universe itself in general will eventually come to an end too. But what are some ways that will cause our universe to slowly die? There are some ideas scientists have thought about and they're pretty interesting. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Now as you know, the universe keeps expanding. The American astronomer Edwin Hubble figured out this theory because the further a galaxy, the quicker it moves away from us. Therefore, this can result in the theory of the expanding universe. Based on this, there are five different ways the universe might end. And out of these ways, let's begin with talking about the Big Crunch. In 1922, the Russian physicist Alexander Friedman came up with a set of equations. Those equations showed that the universe's fate is determined by its density, and it could either expand or shrink, rather than remaining in a steady state. With enough matter, gravity would eventually stop the expansion of the universe, causing the universe to crash inward. Later on, astronomers added that when the universe crashes on itself, it shall collapse to an infinitely dense state, or even to a gargantuan black hole. As the universe is shrinking, all the black holes collide with each other forming a single black hole vacuuming the universe. That's what scientists call the Big Crunch. The other idea is that once the universe ends in an infinitely small point, that point leads to another Big Bang of another universe and the cycle just continues. That theory is called the Big Bounce. Some scientists support this theory and they say that the Big Bang wasn't the start of our universe and it was rather the end of the previous one. Now we're going to be a little pessimistic. Next up is the most possible theory that can happen, the big freeze or the heat death of the universe. I've talked about the heat death of the universe in my previous videos. You can specifically click in the top right to find the specific videos I'm talking about. As possible the theory is, this theory states that the universe will have a dark cold ending, literally. In the late 1990s, two separate groups of scientists were studying dying stars called Type 1a supernovas. They found that distant blasts appeared dimmer and therefore they weren't as distant as expected. This showed that the universe's expansion wasn't slowing down, in fact, it was speeding up. A lot. The groups immediately focused on dark energy, which debunked the Big Crunch theory. Even with all the matter in the universe going inwards, gravity won't be as strong as dark energy that has an inflating effect. In a couple trillion years, the closest galaxies will be too far to see thanks to dark energy. If you guys want to learn more about dark matter and dark energy by the way, you can click on the video in the top right. Then in 100 trillion years, star formations will not be possible anymore. Only objects like white dwarfs and black holes will exist. In a Google years from now, the last object's supermassive black holes will eventually evaporate because of Hawking radiation. After this, the universe enters the dark era. When it comes to the temperature, the second law of thermodynamics suggests that entropy will keep increasing until it hits maximum level, and the increase in entropy will make the universe colder. Gravity lowers the entropy, and since gravity won't be strong enough, the entropy will increase and the universe will eventually be very cold in the dark era. That's why this theory is called the Big Freeze Theory. Eventually, the only thing that will still exist will be flickering photons, and even they will decay. And the universe will be a cold, dark, and a dead place. Similar to the Big Freeze Theory, next up we have is the Big Rip Theory. Like in the Big Freeze theory, this theory says that the universe will expand so fast that gravity eventually won't be strong enough to hold up to this effect, and eventually gravity wouldn't be strong enough to hold matter. Therefore, galaxies would be torn apart at first. Stars would scatter across the universe. Then, the planets that orbit stars would stop orbiting. And then, stars would collapse because gravity wouldn't be strong to hold stars. And finally, gravity won't be strong enough to hold onto atoms. The subatomic particles, photons, neutrons, and electrons would fall apart, causing the universe to be completely ripped apart. That's why this theory is called the Big Rip Theory. At last, we have the False Vacuum Decay Theory. 
This theory is quite complicated, and to explain it in simple terms, a false vacuum is when a vacuum isn't really stable, and for the maximum stabilization, the vacuum goes through a phenomenon called the false vacuum decay. A true vacuum state is stable because it is the lowest energy state, and a false vacuum state isn't fully stable because it isn't in its lowest energy state. The transition from a less stable vacuum to a more true vacuum would have big consequences, like the end of the four fundamental forces of the universe, subatomic particles, and basically the entire universe. If the vacuum we're in is a false vacuum, then the universe might end because of this process called the false vacuum decay. And of course, if this theory is completely true. The two videos I recommend about this topic is a video of Kurzgesagt and this video called The Time Lapse of the Future. This video amazed me a lot with its music and etc. So I think you guys should check out these videos for possibly a better explanation about this topic. To conclude the video, basically the big crunch is when the universe will end because of gravity. The big bounce is when another big bang happens. The big freeze is when gravity will no longer be able to lower the entropy in the universe. Therefore, the entropy will increase and the universe will become a dark cold place. The big rip is like the big freeze theory. Gravity will be weaker and therefore from stars and galaxies to subatomic particles and atoms falling apart, the universe will be ripped apart. And the false vacuum decay is when a less stable false vacuum is becoming a true stable vacuum. During this process, the fundamentals of the universe are ending. Again, out of all these, the big freeze theory is the most possible one. But don't worry, the end of the universe will be in like an unbelievable amount of years. If the universe timeline was a calendar, we would be living in the first second of the year. So you definitely don't have to worry about how the universe will die, because again, remember, we're not even a speck of dust compared to the amazing scales of the universe. So nothing worries us about the cosmos. Alright, thank you for watching, and stay astronomical.